Hello again everybody, welcome back and today we have a multi-lock interactive so we can see the interactive element there and this is actually a kick cylinder but I think it's designed for going into the multi-lock padlocks Let's see it's all locked up one of the difficulties we have is if you can see the keyway there it actually looks like it's just wide open but if we look at the tip of the key we do have warding and the warding's only at the back of the lock so it makes it quite awkward to get onto the pins at the back but what I've done is made up a special tension wrench that just fits in and that actually goes into the warding right at the back to help guide the pick so we'll give this a go, see if we can get into it. It's the first interactive I've had. I've only had classics and garrisons before. So we'll see how we get on. So that was one. We got a nice click. A fraction of a full set. Two, we get counter rotation. And we got a click. We lost a little bit of the full set, but Nothing on three, click on four and five. Just check them all again, two, three, four, five. And then we'll go down the inner pins. Right, that was two, and we got a little click, and a bit more of a full set. And that was five, which gave us a nice deep full set. And three, and we're open. So, let's get this out of the vise. Stick that down there. And what do we need? Screwdriver. So, get the pinning tray in. I'm going to use my nice new one, which is apparently black bamboo. <sighs> Tight screws. Back as we can, so you can see on the back there now, the warding in the lock. So where are we? Pins are there. Let's get a follower, and there we go. these ones out one two three four and five let's just arrange those tweezers so we have a standard in one a tapered spool in two standard in three tapered spool in four and a tapered spool in five there we go and then let's have a look up top 
That's the front. And we have a standard in one. A spool in two. Oh. Springs flying everywhere. A spool in three. A spool in four. And a spool in five. Rest of the springs. And there we go. So a quick close up of those. All fairly standard multi lock fair. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, I'll show you how the interactive part works. So, if we get here with a pick, we can get it to focus. I don't know if we can actually see that. Let's but we've got that little bit actually floats and moves if we can see that <coughs> excuse me yeah so the centre part in there <coughs> floats around and moves and if we look inside the core if we can get some light and the torch isn't working, battery's given up there we go I don't know if we can actually see just on the bottom Excuse me, it's just this light. There is actually another pin in here which doesn't come out, but it is spring loaded, which is just there at the front. I'm not sure if you're going to see that or not, but there's a little pin sticking up. And when the key goes in, that lines up with that interactive part. So it's the thickness we can see in there. You can see where that is. It's the thickness of that floating section. Then pushes the pin up. So it's more for key control. As you can see, it's all standard pins in the top. It doesn't affect our picking. Uh, but it just makes sure the key is a lot lot harder to copy but anyway there we go my first multi-lock interactive picked and gutted so i hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon bye